Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to talk about Azure Active Directory pricing and the licensing models that we have. I'm sure that I have already covered this topic in different places, but still, I still wanted to cover this as the high level uh, in this specific lecture because I don't want to mix up this specific topic uh, with another lectures. If at all it was already covered, you can ignore this also. So when you go for Azure Active Directory, let's say you created a tenant, that means you are actually using a free tenant. So there are uh, a few limitations if you just have a look on these. So when you create a tenant, you're getting as a, a 500,000 objects limit. And uh, if you are using, in case the Azure Active Directory was uh, coming from your Office 365 specific, that means you own the Office 365 licenses. In that situation, there are no object limits. Similarly, within the Azure Active Directory, you have a licensing model called, uh, which is a basic, uh, and also the premium and premium one and premium two. So that means the P1 and the P2 is the highest level. So with the uh, highest version of a uh, P2 license, that's a premium 2 license, you can get a lot of other benefits that are offered by Azure Active Directory. So just to consolidate, so you have the office licenses also can be used. Also the P1 and P2 licenses. So P2 will have all the features. So the pricing uh, when it comes, so the free, which is a basic one is completely free. So let's say you started a company as a startup, you can go ahead and use it, uh, the identity solution, and it will be more than enough maybe for some time. Later point when you, you know go and you wanted to have some other additional features, for example, identity management and access management management with uh, premium features like password protection, self-service portal, all that in that situation you would be coming back to either choosing the P1 or P2 license and these licenses can be assigned based on a user model. That means you no need to buy for all the users. Let's say I have a 500,000 user objects. I don't need to buy 500,000 uh, user licenses as a P2 or P1. I can mix and match my configuration, my user licenses all the time. So that makes most easy. And coming back to the most important point here out of this licensing, uh, if you have the P1 or P2 licenses, you can go for the hybrid configuration. When I say hybrid Active Directory, the Active Directory that you have on your on-premises can be synced with the help of Azure AAD Connect tool. So the identities will be onboarded to your Azure Active Directory and you can set the policies like a conditional access policy or privileged identity management, all that policies can be configured and you can take all the benefits uh, of Azure Active Directory, uh, which is uh, modern identity management solution. Let's say the password reset, self uh, password reset kind of solutions can be fully utilized from uh, from the Active Directory users coming from this source as the Active Directory since they have already synced and they are an hybrid environment they can also get the benefit of Azure Active Directory that's a major difference and coming to the pricing side the P2 uh, comes there's a premium to a license is nine dollar premium one is six dollars and coming back to the office 365 apps or the office 365 specific license that means you don't need to buy uh, if you're buying your mailbox based license then uh, you would be you no know, uh, either choosing e1 e3 or e5 or f1 f3 specific licenses and their pricing uh, again comes based on your Office 365 licensing. So that concludes uh, about the Azure Active Directory specific licensing information. Make sure that you check out the specific lecture uh, or this specific uh, URL which will be really helpful when it comes to the uh, pricing, when it comes to the features wise comparison. This is the best document uh, which is available for all the Active Directory features comparison uh, with access to your licensing. I hope this entire lecture is useful for you. Thank you for your time.